Oh my god, do you guys see that? What the freak? Look at his health! <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we're going to be trying out MF in bot lane because she's like, what, number two win rate? Pretty high, and uh, I'm just gonna warn you right now, ADC is my worst role anyways. OP.GG and runes is on the screen. It is a rank game, but it is flex Q, so I have I feel less pressure, you know? The main thing is, as long as I farm really well, I poke with my Q, and yeah, just be able to scale into late game, then I'll be good to go. I also learned a little bit from watching some ADC, so I mean, maybe I can do something in team fights. I feel like if I stand within my team, like, so I'm fighting, I'm not like super far back, but I'm in my team, I'm fighting and holding my own, should be fine. But also I have my ult, so I can stand really far back as well and be okay. Ah, that didn't hit him. That was close though. What? Ooh, nice. That's a big hit. I think that's why MF has a good win rate, right? It's because she has insane poke in lane. But the idea of, uh, say, pushing is also good just because we're able to get that EXP lead and shove them under tower so it's harder for them to see us. So that's always the idea. But then at 3 minutes, we just have to watch out a few timings where they could gank us. So that... Oh, I was about to Q, but then, yeah. I still have around a good 20 seconds before I get ganked. But I feel like kazik has got a leash from bot side, so that's why I'm not too worried right now. I'm pretty sure that he's up towards top side. That's what most junglers do anyway. So yeah, Kha'Zix is up there, so it's really safe for us right now. Got him. Oh, I should have let him punch that, huh? He can punch the next one. Oh, never mind. What the heck? Actually hit me. Oh, that was close. Almost got him. So Kha'Zix is still top. As long as I keep autoing, I'll be fine in terms of health. And if Blitz can hook one, that'll be so good. Skill up Q just so I can maybe not really. Okay, sweet. I don't think I can dive this, but it's pretty safe to put a ward right now. Because I know Kha'Zix is still near topside-ish. So this ward will last quite a while, and I have two charges, might as well use one. We're at 25 CS, 19 minutes, pretty good. Not too shabby. Got him. That's beautiful. And actually quite oppressive. Ooh, what the heck. Wow, they didn't hit anyone. But yeah, I think I'm going for lethality build this game. They don't have any tanks other than Poppy. And I guess I'll just have to aim everyone else other than Poppy. It's just that I'm not sure if she'll straight up kill me by going on me. So I think she's the main threat for me anyway. If I stand near Blitzcrank in teamfights, I should be okay. Got him. But it actually hits a lot harder if I get the killing blow with my Q. Kha'Zix is top. Oh, that would have been nice. But to be honest, picking Blitzcrank into Ezreal is kind of questionable because he can just arcane shift out of that. I know that Kha'Zix is not here. Got him. He's really low. Like, he should pop a potion soon. I don't think he should go in on that. Like, that would be a bad idea. But yeah, I guess shoving him in, he has 33 CS to my 39. I guess it's, like, not that big of a lead. But I did miss quite a few CS in lane, which I shouldn't be missing CS. What I can do is slow push this one and fast push the next one. Because I know that I don't have enough pushing power. At least I feel I don't. To crash into tower. It looks like he's going back or something. Like they're not contesting at all. So I make sure that I ping assist for the next wave I guess. Uh, get a ward here. It's not a very good ward but it'll have to do. Okay, so I do have my heal and everything ready, but so do they. They have all their sums as well. I'll get one of the back minions low so that I can poke Ezreal. Okay. Ah, my god, he always misses those hooks. That's frustrating. I'm getting him with all my Qs though. Or not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay, so I know that Kha'Zix is probably bot side now. I'm pretty sure. The fact that he saw Lee down here, there's a good chance that he is. But the thing is, my... 
Uh, they, they're actually really low on mana. I don't think he entubes too much. But I don't know about this, like... Okay, Fizz is here, but Kha'Zix is also bottom. Uh-oh. I can't really do much for Fizz right now. If I go over there, I'll probably put myself in danger by walking up to help Fizz. So rightfully, he'll just back off by himself. We do have Vision. I didn't get him. Okay. Got him. Oh, what? The heck? That would have bounced. Kha'Zix is missing. It's real flashed? Okay. I get confused between flash and arcane shift because uh, I just felt like that was arcane shift every time. I mean, I can come over. I don't think he's here anymore. No, he's not there. Oh, actually, I made a really bad decision by staying back. This is really bad decision making right now. Because I don't have enough pushing power to shove this into tower. So they could freeze this. Like, this is my bad, but I have to commit to it now. Okay, let's see. Actually, crash into tower. Perfect. I get a much bigger purchase now when I go back. I think, uh, according to the guide, I'm supposed to get lethality items here. So let's go for it. Get some boots as well. We're 66 CS to 46. So doing very well. For being this, this is my very worst roll. So I'm just glad that I'm not feeding. But at the same time, Blitz is roaming right now. So I'm going to be 1v2ing right now. It's going to be a little bit rough. But I think as long as I... Oh, okay. Actually, Bard is over there. So I'm 1v1ing. That's fine then. Get that one on him. It's very oppressive, so I can keep poking at him, but he's not going to be able to poke me until all the minions are dead. Or at least out of the way. Just like that. Oh! Damn. That would have been so nice. But yeah, he's going to CS from really far away because he knows he's taking too much damage. Oh, okay, damn, I hit the wrong minion. That would have hit him too if I hit the right one. But it's uh, kind of annoying that he can farm from so far away. I just healed just in case. I didn't know if he was going to have any, like, any more bursts. I don't know the cooldowns with all these bot lane stuff. You know, those thingy majigs, so... Just better safe than sorry, but I guess I wasted it. Oh well. I still 1v1'd him. I'm happy with that. I'm pretty sure his support's gonna come over. Uh, I don't think I'll do too much damage. I think the tower armor thing fades at 5 minutes. I'm actually not sure, or 10 minutes. But either way, we go back and get more swords. Yeah, I can see why MF has such a high win rate at bot lane. This is because her Q is so oppressive and so stupid. And I don't think many champions can actually outdo her just because unless they go for an all-in and you're usually with a support. So if you hide behind your support, you're going to win trades if the ADC goes aggressive on you. And if they just simply farm, then they're going to get poked really hard by your Q. So it seems like a, you know, a good day either way. I'm going to stay back because I actually I see Bard now. So, I need to start poking at him. Actually, he's going to shove me in. I can't really contest this. So, we'll simply just let him shove us in. Okay, nice. As long as we get every single... Oh, not that one. Most CS will be okay. Yeah, this rules over there. I'll just directly use my Q on him if he does that. It's still a lot of damage. Damn, that didn't hit him. Stick around. Uh, I think my team's losing. But I'm just like trying my best to hold my own as a bot laner, so... Maybe when it comes to team fights, I'll be able to do something. Damn. Okay, he wants to get some CS, that's fine. Oh, I thought he had another Targons. Let's 
get a ward over there. I feel like Blitz could have dived this and I would have went with him. Because all I had to do is just turn on W and just auto him to death with Q. Got him. Damn, that didn't hit him. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. That's the thing about Ezreal countering Blitz. Ouch. Poppy used his teleport, or her teleport rather. Like, Ezreal's quite low because I keep queuing him. There's nothing he can do about it. I think that works with almost every ADC except Draven. Nice. It's easy enough. Bot lane's pretty chill, at least this lane is. There's a Kha'Zix over there. Uh oh. Got him. Okay. Very nice, very nice. We're actually winning lane. That's a surprise. I thought I was going to feed, to be honest. Because I just want to test out high win rate champions, you know? But just you know, having fun, and I think these win rates wouldn't change to... What? Die. Get out of here. I'm fed. Actually, I haven't bought items yet. I'm supposed to get Ghost Blade or Dust Blade first. Hmm. Someone keeps pinging me, but I don't even want to stay, so there's no point in pinging me. I guess Ghost Blade just to walk to lane. It's pretty nice. 500 move speed. I guess that's the life of ADC. Just keep duking it out at bot lane until I get that tower, then I can rotate top. Well, otherwise I have to just hold my tower. Look at his health! <laughs> what was that? This is why she's high win rate, guys. I don't even know how to play, and she's just... Absolute destruction. Just because I got one lethality item. Well, technically two, but Serrated Dirk, like, come on. I guess Serrated Dirk is just OP. Oh, uh, they, they're so nerfing this. Actually, they are definitely going to nerf lethality. It's just broken. W second for attack speed. Just for some consistent damage. I know that I tried maxing E once. This wasn't very good. Like, I get no consistent damage at all. No, I didn't get, like, I got shared gold instead of the 550. I think we'll shove in one more wave, and then after that, I'll go to bot. I I'll go to mid. You can get that last one. There we go. Okay, let's head towards mid. Because I feel like if I keep pushing bot, I'll just be overextended, uh, not have a very good time. But if I can rotate to mid, push that in, and maybe even rotate top and help top, that'll be very good. So I think that's what... ADCs do in high elo, at least that's what I've seen, is they rotate after they get first tower. Because all the outer towers are a lot easier- oh my god, what the heck. A lot easier to get. Okay, they're coming. And Bard is so creepy, like with his little portal thing. Can I- damn. Actually, it was nowhere near. Might be able to get this. Okay, so Zyra's here. Uh, okay, Fizz is actually going bot. I might be able to push this in and rotate. Actually, I don't need to push it in. I just go straight to the top. Just have to be careful if there's anyone on the way. No one's escaping here. Please. Creepy. Zyra's right behind me. Now that we have Poppy very low, I'm hoping what we can do is take this top tower. I'm so nervous. If I go and attack that tower, I feel like I'm going to get collapsed on. I'm not experienced enough as an ADC to do this. I feel like Blitz should just stay near me. Okay, just need some assistance here. 
Alright, if they're doing their own thing... Man, I'm way too far for that one. Okay, Kha'Zix is here. I need help. I need help. Immediate help. I need help. I need help. Actually, I'm alive. That's good. That's good. I'm so scared. Because I'm like a low mobility ADC. Oh! Yeah, yeah, alright. I am way too far to heal Blitzcrank, actually. Am I 1v1ing him again? What the hell? He actually arcane shifted forward. I guess I have to rotate mid. Because I don't feel like I can take this by myself. I feel like I'm just going to get caught out eventually. But if I rotate here, it might be able to do something. Oh, come on. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. I made her walk backwards. I was really trying to zone Zyra off at the same time. Okay, well, so far we're doing decent. But I think there's a, a big wave that I want to farm. Hmm. Alright, let's go back towards mid. Wait, I'm not very confident in holding mid right now. I feel like I just want to take top tower. Oh, is he Insect? Actually, he doesn't have ult yet. I can Q this Ezreal. Yeah, very nice. That damage, though. I have so much gold. Actually, I'm farming really well, too. Mm. I think I'm supposed to go here. Damn, I really want a top tower, to be honest. Like, just getting all the outer towers is very important. Get him, boys. Wow, okay, he travels so far. Okay. Urgot should not be going back. Why did he go back? I don't get it. Like, that could have... I don't know. Oh, well, it's fine. I guess we got the tower, that's the important thing, but... He should be with us, just in case Kha'Zix comes. And we can guarantee the tower. I have 4k gold, nice. So, let's go back and try to get something to really snowball. I think I'm supposed to now get Dustblade and then Black Cleaver. That's gonna one-shot Ezreal. Wow, I'm so close to Black Cleaver. Okay, very nice. We actually have so many items, and according to the guide, I'm supposed to get Swifties. Not actually quite sure about that one. Maybe, like, Zerkos would be better? I just think that my attack speed's very lacking, but I'm going to try this out because I think that's something worth trying, because I guess Zerkos is very standard, so everyone knows how it is, but might have an opinion on Swifties after this game. Okay, they're fighting down there. Let's go and help. Okay, I need to get into a better position here. Damn, I'm so scared. Oh, I tried. Does he have ult? Oh, yikes. I still got an assist for it. So, our Urgot's actually 1 and 8, and he's losing very badly. That sucks. So, we have to carry somehow. I think I need to work towards my GA. I feel like that's going to help a lot. So, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to be mid for the most part. Because that's where I can hold it uh, while the others will be splitting top. Not a problem. Oh my god, my ults are terrible this game. Oh, 
Okay, interesting. Yeah, Fizz should just go back. I don't know why he's staying. It's not worth like a 400 gold Lich Bane just to lose top tower. Not worth losing. That's like, I don't know, pretty weird. Man, I don't think we have enough damage to kill her. Damn, she just drained all my mana and she's still alive. I'm dead, well. I need a vacation. Nah, just back. Wait, she's way too fed. I guess we need a blitz as well to come. Oh my. Well, at least we got him. Okay, so I need a miracle ult, but right now I'm just placing my ult so badly. I'm placing it in a predictive way because they don't seem to move. And that's why it's failing, is because I'm placing it where I think they're going to move to, rather than where they're already standing, so they simply just stand still when I ult. Which is really strange. Okay, we'll just get top wave then. Okay, let's have... Let's head over here and see if we could get a team fight going, like a really good team fight. I just want to stay near. I feel like if Blitzcrank stays with me, we should be fine. I don't know what we're doing here though. Oh, okay. It's a very fed poppy here. But what about Baron though? This is such a stupid call. Wow, this is such a bad call. We're gonna give up Baron. This is so bad. Hmm. It's not worth giving Urgot help. Like, even if he died, I don't know, just Baron was better. But I'm surprised they didn't take Baron, actually. This is so weird. Like, what elo is this game? They didn't take Baron? Oh, okay, now they did. Eventually. But it's just not worth it, to be honest. Like, we're not going to get anything out of past this tower. Drop a ward and let's back away. Let's push in mid now. But yeah, I feel like as an ADC, I don't have the power to go by myself. I feel like I'm very tied down to staying with the support. Or with the team. Or else I just get caught out and die. That's all there is to it. But yeah, I'd rather let Urgot die and then we don't give away Baron than this result. I guess it's not too bad because we did get a bunch of towers. Hey, we have way too much AD. That's insane. Oh, way too many AD items. Hopefully we could do something out of this. I'm trying to build a GA right now. Uh -uh. Okay. Our team's so split up. Let's just go the safer route and... This Poppy's like... Actually killed Lee. That means if Poppy was grouping, this game would have been over. Okay. Get him. Nice. That was a good hook. Very good. Only Zyra's alive. If he gets a hook. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Beautiful. Good hooks. Yeah, he finally got some hooks in. That's really nice. Very much appreciated. Full build. Poppy. Oh, what the heck? No. 
Oh my god. That actually didn't work. Damn. I mean, that's as much damage as I could possibly do. But it just tickled him. I can one-shot all the backliners. That's really nice. They're fighting? I have to go there. Oh my god, they already lost the fight. What the heck? I can't deal with Poppy. That Poppy can play like... She can do whatever she wants. She just doesn't die because Urgot fed the crap out of her. Hmm. I need my team to come back before we do the final fight. If I die here, uh, they might not be able to end actually. But the thing is, I don't want to die. We just have to give it up for now. I can do some serious damage to Ezreal by splashing onto Poppy as well. Yeah, we literally just let them stroll through the base. I mean, I don't know if I could be doing much better, because I really don't know too much about this role. But I just feel like I'm always tied down to splitting with my team, or to be playing with my team, and nothing else. It feels very limiting. But maybe if I played a harder ADC, one that has a lot more carry potential, maybe. I don't know, Misfortune's decent though. It's so hard to follow teammates when they're rushing to get kills. So dead. They're just like rushing to get kills. I guess in that case I needed to ping them back. But otherwise this game is very impossible. I just feel like they're playing very poorly in some way. I might not be like hard carrying but at the same time I felt like I did my part at the very least. So I feel like Misfortune just wins lane like really really well and we get just like randomly just randomly get kills every now and then. If I, I think if I ulted better, I would have had a much better chance. But I think in terms of damage, we would have done quite a lot. Like, I think Fizz might have done more. But we did quite a lot of damage. Just that I wasn't able to get any good ults off. I feel like if I got some good ults off, the game might have been different. But that's about it. That's all I could think of. So yeah, in terms of damage, we were really close to Fizz. And like pretty much up there. So I'm pretty happy with this result. I feel like it's a very safe pick and very two-dimensional. And has quite a bit of impact in games. So I thought... Like, pretty awesome. Anyways, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.